It will be divine. Soon <laughs> Incredible. And the intimacy. Oh. <laughs> Der Ton kommt oben an. Das ist auch gut. Der, der Ton kommt oben an. Ja, in ja, ja. Überall. alle Fälle. Und ich habe auch hier ausprobiert. Auch hier oben. Ja, für Ihre anderen Stücke. Der kommt bis oben durch die Decke. Und hier auch. Oh. Der ist, ist überall. Der ist überall. Ach, oh, ich freue mich sehr. So. Sonic Foundation. Hey, nice, nice to meet you. you. Uh, so good you are here. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Really looking forward. We could do this together. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Now we are underwater here. We really? Are, yeah, 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 yeah. The water is up there. Have you brought your swimming? No, no. Ah. Could be a problem. <laughs> but yeah, could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this hall is really, it's so, it's so good. Yeah. Okay. And right. the possibilities you have. Yeah. Mm. So. You, you have to you have to show piano hall yes. which possibilities yeah, 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 yeah. you have because Hello. he can do, he can do so many changes. Ah, really? Yeah, you should just remember this. Water in, no? water in and water out. Das yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Interessanteste, ich fand das alles sehr linear. Aber das Interessanteste wird der Vorhang. Ich glaube, der wird nur für das halbe Klavier nach unten. Jetzt lässt er ihn das da, dass sie noch mal hören können. Uh -huh. So if you try now, you can hear a very big difference in the acoustic. What did you show? This yeah. Yeah. The funny thing is that this instrument is the instrument we call the Parisian. Uh -huh. Okay. So yesterday in Paris I had the <laughs> Viennese <laughs> instrument <laughs> okay. and now we are the Parisian. <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> confusing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it's your own piano? It, it's your own? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. So yes. you have this and, and the Viennese yes, instrument. Yes, exactly. And yeah. Both of them with two uh, actions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. cycle and this was in the presence of the composer and I found the piano extraordinary that I could realize all the colors I wished and afterwards the composer came and said you have to buy this instrument so, yes because I want you to play my etude 
always on this instrument. Oh. <laughs> so I told him, marvelous, I would love, but I've not got the money, unfortunately. <laughs> Doesn't matter, I lent you the money. So, <laughs> Uh, this was the story, and this is how I could buy the, the yes, instrument. Yeah. Wow. And it, you call it the Parisian uh, Steinway, that's because you had it in, in Paris? Or? Because I lived in Paris at this moment, and in fact we had to find a strategy, because at this moment the quality of instruments in general went down, and one had to face this situation and to find solutions, especially for countries where the general situation was more uh, problematic. And two countries in these years were really highly problematic. This was France and Austria. So we decided to leave an instrument in Vienna, that's the Viennese, and an instrument in Paris, that's the Parisian. And then we could cover m most of the, um, uh, of the most challenging situations. So what have you learned of Piron, as, as seen from, from the from, from the piano's side. <laughs> to say it in one word, I would say, I learned to listen. Uh, not only to listen to the instrument, but to listen to, uh, to I would say, to the, to the world. What, what I find uh, um, is that listening to each other is one very, very uh, basic issue of today's society, we should listen to each other, to understand each other, but we think, we listen, but we just hear the words, but we don't try to understand them from the other's opposite side. It was perfectly done, but there was no connection between this and... How is the rehearsals going to your perspective? Very nice, yeah. Yeah. very nice Have you played with them before? No, it's no? the first time. The first time. Mm -hmm. But you with the radio orchestra several yeah. times. Yeah. Yes, Silva, I know. Yeah. We know each other since, well, you know, we were in Lyon both, because he was assistant in the orchestra when I was young, mm -hmm. and then we knew each other when he came to the Ensemble de Contemporain. Yeah. And we made a Messian program with Oiseau Exotic in 1978, on the 70th birthday. First Fortissimo uh, at uh, 48, here with even more, more spirit. Huh? Yeah. Uh, after uh, uh, le thriller, le sol, j'avais pas eu idée. On était bien ensemble, je crois. Je crois. Oui, oui. Ok, alors, faut pas réfléchir. Faut pas okay. se faire du souci. Non. Ok. C'est pas nécessaire. Tu nous refais encore. How are you today? Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> voilà. Ouais. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Good to have you back. How are you to see you again? <laughs> nice to see you too.
the Leonie Sonnings Music Prize 2022 of 1 million Danish kroner is hereby awarded to pianist Pierre Laurent Emar. With an artistic signature embracing sonorously sensitive sound, sparkling expressiveness and precision, and an extremely sharp intellect, he pushes the boundaries of the pianist's art. With visionary programs that combine composers of different eras, Pierre Laurent Emar has inspired new interpretations of well-known classics and communicated the qualities of lesser-known works. And with curiosity and courage, and in collaboration with many composers, he has proved himself a unique, searching, artistic soul capable of giving audiences unforgettable experiences. Congratulations. Can you imagine, dear Esben, and could you imagine, ladies and gentlemen, how touched I can be receiving such an extraordinary award and by your extremely touching words, Esben? The fact that tradition, even the richest, is not enough and that we have always to look forward to research to try and to take risks so that we can deliver tomorrow to the next generations an artistic world that is close to them and not only close to us. For this also, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. If one day an insurance company comes to you and says, oh, you're a pianist, we would love to insure your hands. Reply to them that I don't play with my hands. I play with my ears. Could you insure my ears, please? We are listeners. And we listen to what our instrument produces and we correct the things all the time. This is all what we do. We learn to listen and to react to the magical combination of, of sounds. The problem of this piece, it has been taken like a kind of virtuosic challenge by many, and so it's who plays the fastest and the most flashy. And then if the sense of the piece disappears and the piece itself, what for? <laughs> but the composition is fantastic. <laughs> Bravo. Metric, metric, no, no. You know, don't uh, uh, run behind the music. Have, uh, eat a metronome for breakfast <laughs> and then follow your intuitions, of course. It's now the moment, not for the nap, as the music would invite us, but for the break, I think. So with the two last chords, you announce a nice coffee or something like that. Oh, it should be a coffee with milk and sugar, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Very, very, very Later. Mm -hmm.